Hi everybody, it's Ariel Warren, registered dietitian nutritionist, certified diabetes care and education specialist, and I've also had diabetes for over 25 years. So today I'm going to show you an updated version on how to get your G6 sensor to restart. I'm going to show you the total prep for when you first put it on so that when you do have that time where you can restart it, it'll actually stay on. So I'm going to show you everything I use and then I'm going to show you each of the steps. Here we go. Dexcom restart, you're going to obviously need a Dexcom sensor. You're going to need some skin tack. You can get this on Amazon. A box of 50 is around $13, $14. You can even use an HSA credit card if you have one. You're going to need an over patch or really any film dressing. And you're going to need some card that you don't care about and it's a pretty sturdy card. It doesn't have to be, you don't want like a platinum card, but just something that has a little bit of flexibility, but it also is kind of tough. Okay. Here I have the Dexcom G6 sensor. What you're going to want to do is you don't want to put the skin tack directly on your skin because that can create a barrier of the skin tack and then the sensor, once it goes through that barrier of, of the skin tack, it actually can mess with the sensor. So my trick to get around that little detail is if you take off the adhesive, you're going to want to hold on to that thing. okay? And then you actually wipe down. You have to wipe about halfway and wipe all the way down and then halfway up and wipe up. So I'm just wiping all the way down, halfway, and then about halfway up. Because if you go from the top to bottom, you'll crinkle it and it'll be a really sad day. We don't want to do that. You want to fully saturate that and then you want to wait about, I don't know, five seconds. It's already dry. We're good. Now we need to pick a good location for the sensor. Put it on your stomach. I don't know. I don't usually put it on my stomach, so we'll say we'll put it right here. We want to take off this little orange piece and then click the button. Okay, so we have that on and now with that same skin tack, we're going to wipe around. And now we're going to let that skin tack kind of sit there. This is kind of a skin tack sandwich, so to speak, because we put it on the adhesive. Now we're putting it around the adhesive and now I'm going to take the over patch and place it on top and that sucker isn't going anywhere so after the 10 days it's still going to be there hopefully and if it doesn't I mean you can always reapply with the skin tack and put it back on your stomach okay this part is crucial you see that four digit code it's magical and this is how you're going to get your restart and so what you can do is I just take a picture on my phone. You can even date it, take a picture, and that way when you need to do the Dexcom restart in 10 days, voila, you have it. Or you can put it in a special note section, or you can stick it in your diabetes counter, so to speak. But it's pretty easy just to have it on your phone so that if you're not at home, you can restart your sensor from anywhere. So hold on to that code. Okay, obviously to finish this up, we're just gonna put the transmitter in, clip it in, we're good to go. Now, 10 days later, when you get that code that says, hey, change out your sensor, your sensor is over with. Okay, we're not, go oh, we are going to, I guess, change out our transmitter, but this is what we're going to do. Now you're gonna take that card and you're going to pop out that transmitter. You're gonna keep the transmitter out for 15 minutes one, two, three, 15. Set a timer, you want it out for at least 15 minutes, and then you're going to pop that transmitter back in, you're gonna use that four digit code, and then you're going to start a new sensor, okay? But the way to pop out that transmitter, you can really get creative here. I've even used my daughter's hair clip, but everybody has a card they can use to get in there. So we're gonna use that for this. This is a little bit awkward. You're gonna feel like, what the heck am I doing? It gets better with time. What you're going to want to do is get underneath the transmitter from the sensor. The sensor is likely going to pop a little bit. Again, this is after those 10 days and it tells you to restart it. You slide underneath at the corner of it, of the transmitter, and then you can slide the transmitter right onto the card. That was my first try. I promise I didn't retake it a hundred times. So I'm pretty proud of myself right now. Transmitter is out. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes and then I'm going to pop it back in, start a new sensor, add that four digit code that I took a picture of 10 days ago and 
voila, I can get more days out. And lastly, I want to add that when we do, or if you do this 10 day restart, that Dexcom is not liable because it is only intended to be used for those first 10 days. So you're the one that will become liable if anything kind of funky happens because of that Dexcom blood sugar. So what I would say, be smart. If you feel like the blood sugar reading on Dexcom is off, you can use your blood sugar meter, but also remember it's better to compare your blood sugar when you're going straight instead of going up and down because there is that 10 to 15 minutes of lag time with any CGM. And so if you feel like things are wacky, just cut your losses and say, great, I got an extra day or 10 days or even more than that. How many days can you get out of a restart? So just stay safe. Know that Dexcom isn't liable after the first 10 days. And know that Dexcom isn't liable after you do a restart. And you wanna be especially careful if you are using a hybrid closed loop system. And so that's like the tandem pump or off-label looping, just because those systems are dependent on that Dexcom reading. And so when your blood sugar is high or low, it's going to adjust your basal. And depending on the system you use, it may even give you an automatic correction bullet. So we want to make sure our Dexcom data is correct. So things to be thinking about. What I do too is I like to continually have my Dexcom supplies shipped to me so I can have a supply of them. And then I use FIFO first in, first out. And that way I can have a little bit of reserve of supplies so I can have this just in case I can't get to it or maybe I have three bad sensors in a row and I need a new sensor right now. So just a couple reasons why it's nice to have extra supplies. You already think that way and that's why you're watching this video. So hopefully you're doing well. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to work together, I am here to help you. You can reach out to me through my website. I work with people with diabetes all across the world. So. Hopefully doing well, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.